knocked or I'd get caught or I, I, I didn't, I was kind of flat footed. And when I actually ended up looking at my video, I would think I was on my outside edge, but my foot was actually here. It was actually straight up and down. And so this is a really common problem. Most players think they're on their outside edge, but they're actually flat. Their foot is totally flat like this. But as you can see with Crosby, he's routinely using his outside edge. And let's look a bit further into the clip and you'll see, right? It's not just here that he's on his outside edge, right? And look how aggressively he's on his outside edge. Like this is pretty intense. And most players are simply not comfortable here. They think they're here, but they're not. And again, now look how much he's using his outside edge in this here. Now, what the really cool thing about the whole hip wall is, or the outside edge hip wall, is this part. It immediately improves your mechanical advantage. Now, it might look like Crosby's like, and, and he's definitely a strong player in the gym, but he's actually just chilling right here. Like he's, this player is like a real big defenseman pushing on him. And look at Crosby's like facial expression and look at how relaxed he is. He has the ability to kind of like swivel his hips. You can even kind of see he's kind of moving his rib cage. His, he has the wherewithal to move his hand. He's got his head up, right? When you're seeing someone do a max squat or a max deadlift, their face is scrunched up. They can't move their hand. They can't be focused on something else. They're strictly doing a max squat. But here you can actually see he's actually quite relaxed and aware, and that's purely because of his outside edge positioning. So backing it up a bit, that really gives him a mechanical advantage because uh, basically the more that this guy pushes on him, that this defenseman pushes on him, the, the more that uh, Crosby can just keep on cruising around. And you can actually see it right here. There's multiple pushes and Crosby's still able to swivel around him and that's all because of the outside edge hip wall now what we're going to talk about here and the main thing that's missing for players is that most players think they're on their outside edge but they're not and what you need to do to actually change this for yourself and to adopt this new mechanic for yourself is to get awareness of your actual y angle so you need to get awareness of it before you can change it and that's what the coaching is 